Good day, I'm trying to stabilize some video that you can see here, and I keep getting this decode frame discontinuity larger than in options. Want some number, got some number, six bad frames. Now six bad frames obviously refers to the difference between 29 and 35. So how can you solve that? Well, let's go through and show you a couple of things that I've done, and then I'll show you how I didn't solve it, but I just got around it. What I did was uh, initially, I tried a number of things. A couple of things to do right away are to turn off, sync to audio, and drop frames when behind. When those two settings are on, you can have problems. When you look this up, people will say, well, change the video decompression that's being used. And I have played with this, I've played con with configure, I've played with a few things, I can't seem to figure this out. What I have done is decided to just skip those frames. Six frames out of 20,000, not gonna be noticeable. At best, it'll be a tiny little skip. 30 frames a second, missing six, won't make any difference. So, how do you encode or decode or modify just part of the video? Well, it's not very hard. Select video, select range, and then enter you know what you want. So I want to uh, go from frame zero all the way to, well, in my case, it was 10229 that failed. So I'm gonna to go to 10225 just so I don't have any uh, any difficulties here. So I'm going to click on that. And now I'm going to go back and do my process. Then I will go back again, and I will do the balance of the video, excluding those frames. So let's show you that very quickly. I'll speed through this so we don't take up your time. So in my case, the next step I'm going to go through is this video analysis, which Lord knows what you're doing. It doesn't make any difference what you're doing. Whatever process you're following is just fine. And you can see here that we're just about to finish up. Another two seconds. Bingo, there we go. So that's the first one done. Now in my case, I need to now export this file, which I'm going to do with save as AVI, but I have some other work to do first. Once that's done and I've got this portion exported, I will go back to the original file, which is this one on the left, and I will select video, and I will select, select range, and then I will enter 10340, I'm going to cut out a chunk of frames, and I want to go right to the end, 19731, in case you're wondering where I got that number from, it's down here in the bottom right. And I can just click OK, and then go through and continue my work. Then I'll put those two pieces together, and I'm on my way. Please click like if you found this video useful, or helpful in any way. It helps with Google algorithms. Other than that, you can put a question in the uh, comment section below. We'll get back to you usually within a day or two, or any comment you would like for that matter. You can always get a hold of us at www.urtech, that's urtech.ca. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye-bye.